Okay, um, today what I'm going to be making for you is, is a CO2 cannon. Um, it's uh, just pretty much a black powder cannon made out of a CO2 cartridge and stuff. Okay, what you're going to need is a CO2 cartridge, some black powder, hydrogen, or the heads of matches, just something that's a powder and will flare up. Um, level 2 or brown PAT rounds, powder actuated tools. A lighter. Some uh, cotton, like cotton balls, whatever. Some uh, projectiles, I'm going to use BBs. Something to tap it down with. A knife. And a uh, fuse. A, um, what is it? A uh, fireworks fuse. Okay. So the first thing that you want to do is take your cartridge and cut it. Cut the bowl off. But just leave the rest of the barrel. Um, use a hacksaw, and it should be particularly easy. Um, should end up looking something like like this. Um, another thing you're gonna have to do is, if it's used, it should already have a small hole. You're gonna have to drill it out more, make it bigger. That's a uh, that's just the main thing. Okay. So once you have this, what you're going to have to do is take your uh, powder, take about, god damn it, hold on, I'm sorry, I just spilled like half my powder. Okay, take about that much, that much powder. Put your finger over the hole on the bottom. Pour it in. Okay. Um. Then what you're gonna do is take your uh, PAT round, stick it in, and you're gonna have to make sure that it did not go in sideways. That it went in the straight. Uh, mine did. See, mine is in there good. Okay, then what you're gonna do is uh, take a piece of your cotton here, stuff it in, and use that tool, that thing, just to tap it down. Once you have that done, you're going to take your projectile, you can use whatever you want, put it in the barrel, and then take a small piece of cotton, about this size, and uh, stick it in, pat it down. Okay. Um, you're gonna have to figure out how to make your own structure. They can be made pretty much out of anything. Just something that supports the PAT real good, or the thing real good. Um, you can just set it on a log or something, but it'll uh, it'll pr it'll most likely fly backwards. Okay. Then what you're gonna do is take your fuse, the little fireworks fuse here, and uh, just stick it on the uh, very base, about a fourth of an inch. Make sure it's surrounded with good black powder and everything. Okay. Then what you're going to do is just tap it down because the uh, I think should loosen it up a little bit. Okay. 
Okay. You are pretty much done. Um, all that's left to do now is go outside and see if it worked. So, uh, let's do that. Heading outside now. Jesus. Okay, we are on the upstairs patio of our of my beautiful home in the Woodlands, Texas. Um, let's, uh, hold on. There we go. Okay, so what I have here is a piece of aluminum foil that'll just, uh, show if it, uh, projects anything outwards. So I'll just put in a couple extra beads. I must warn you, if you do this right, it will most likely be very loud. So, uh, make sure there are no neighbors outside or anything. So, let's just, uh, I just checked. All right, we're good. All right, here we go. And there you have it. Um, let's see, this is, uh, the aluminum foil, pretty much blew the thing in half, almost, and, uh, <coughs> there you go, and that is how to make a, uh, well, that's how to make I just forgot what it was. A uh, CO2 canister.